All right, it's time for a fucking class trial. God damn it, Agito, Agito, really? They didn't even put his full name. Was brutally murdered. His unpredictable death has left a looming shadow of mystery in the hearts of Hajime and the others. Who is the traitor? What was the clue Nagito left? Will they be able to see the light within the darkness? Between hope and despair? Wow, that's crazy. Let me turn up the volume on my TV screen so I can hear it. All right, uh, set skills. What we got? We trigger happy. I think that's, uh, let's see. Oh, these are set skills. Maybe let's open the handbook. Open the handbook. I think it's in the report card, right? It's been a while. No, you go to Monomi. There you go. She's the skill shop. Downshift. What is this? Reduces your aiming speed. Effective during non-stop debate and then prove hang hangman's gambit cannot be combined with wait what? Ah fuck it. Moonsault. Increased jumping power, effective during logic dive. We don't have that many uh that many shit to buy. Do I have the improved hangman's gambit gambit? Do I have that shit? Uh... I don't think so. Alright. Uh, no, I'll just keep it. I'll keep everything. Alright. Um... I think that's it. Yeah, let's get started with this trial. Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh my, Monami, my cute little sister, you're awfully quiet. What's happened to you? You've ascended the ladder of adulthood and reached the moon? Because you're a rabbit? Yes, though! Oh, okay, well... Alright, Monomi, you seem to have some sort of new resolve. One more time! Jeez, how about this one? will be my final blow! It's useless. Please stop! I feel bad for Monomi. Oh, someone finally feels bad for her. You're right! Now is not the time for me to horse around with Monomi! The class trial has started, after all! The victim this time is Nagito, who is attempting to reveal the traitor for everyone's sake! Who in the world killed him? I'm so curious! It's so obviously Chiaki. I'm, I'm sticking with my guns. If he was killed for trying to reveal the traitor, that traitor is obviously the killer. They were trying to shut Nagito up. No, that might not be it. Uh, huh? Are you trying to protect the traitor? They didn't call out when we were in danger. Wait. Don't tell me you're the traitor. Don't say something so stupid! There's no way in hell I'm the traitor! <laughs> now that's more like it! Why don't you guys hurry and start arguing already? Hmm. The traitor and the killer who murdered Nagito is here, right? Are they the same person? Or... Alright, present our arguments. Let's go! Tortured wound, survival knife. Uh, all right. Well, let's see what we got. Didn't take Nagito's mouth to shut him up. I'm telling you, they were torturing him. The reason Nagito's body was covered with wounds. It's because the killer tortured Nagito. So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? 
definitely the bomb's hiding place. If so, the suspect... Is whoever found the bomb first! That was Fuyuhiko! I, I found it by coincidence! Oh There's shit. No There's too know. many arguments here. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to silence that. There's too many arguments here. I don't know what the fuck. Why did the killer have to torture Nagito? No. Were the wounds on Nagito's body really caused by torture in the first place? The killer didn't take Nagito's Survival knife, duct tape. I'm telling you, plushies. Alright, first of all. Oops! Didn't mean to press that. Let's check our evidence. What we got? The body discovered inside the warehouse. Estimate time of death is believed to be noon sharp. Not only is the spear stabbed in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds. Furthermore, there is a laceration on the left arm and knife impaled through the right hand. Alright. Tied to nearby pillars, which prevented him from moving. His thighs were also covered with lots of stab wounds. Let's see. Duct tape. Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape, however, the blood that splattered onto his face wasn't under... Yeah, okay, so maybe the duct tape. The reason Nagito's body was covered Maybe with the duct tape. It's because the killer tortured Nagito! So that's why he was so beat up. What were they trying to find out by torturing him? Definitely the bomb's hiding place! If so, the suspect... Is whoever found the bomb first? That was for you. I found it by coincidence. There's no way I'd torture someone. Hmm. The killer didn't take. I'm telling you, that was the reason Nagito's body. It's because the killer tortured. Oh, I'm right. No, Holy shit. <laughs> that's a first. Let's see the reason for this. But Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape. So he wouldn't have been able to confess anything. If he was being tortured for information, they wouldn't have taped his mouth like that. I'm prepared. Oh, what the hell? Guess who's stepping up to the plate this time? Fucking Kazuichi. I just realized it. It's a trap. Trap? Stupid Hajime. You got caught in that trap. Stupid. Me? Never. <laughs> Rebuttal showdown. Like you said, if Nagito's mouth was taped shut, you obviously assume he couldn't talk, right? But that was the trap! He wanted to hide the fact that he got interrogated! But if you tape his mouth shut... How is he supposed to answer anything? Pay attention! This is how at first, the killer tortured Nagito and got information about the bomb's location. Then, after they killed him... They duct taped his mouth shut. What? Whew, that was close, you guys. Thanks to me, you guys didn't get caught in the trap. They taped Nagato's mouth shut after getting information from him. True, that sounds reasonable. But clearly contradicts the truth. If he had listened to me until the very end, I wouldn't have to go to the trouble of repeating myself. Pay attention! This is how at first, the killer tortured Nagit and got information about the bomb's location. Tape had lots of crinkles in it, as if Naito was definitely moving his mouth under underneath it. Okay. Maybe it is the duct tape again. This is how it went down. Maybe it is the duct First, tape again. The killer tortured and got information about the bomb's location. Nope. Pay Come on, Kazuichi. There's a hole somewhere. And got information. Oops, wrong wrong button. There we go. Through those words. Cause of the crinkles? Probably cause of the, the the wrinkles on the fucking duct tape. No. There's no doubt Nagito's mouth was covered with duct tape before he was beat up. What did you say? Who cares about the duct tape? We might as well settle this with rock, paper, scissors. We don't need to play a game. It's clear the duct tape was on his mouth before the torture even began. Why do you always side with Hajime? Do you have a crush on him or something? Why wouldn't she have a crush on me? I'm fucking gorgeous. Are you in elementary school or something? You were with us when I peeled the duct tape off Nagito's mouth, right? The blood on Nagito's face wasn't under the duct tape, remember? 
The blood on his face came from his arm wounds. Which means the duct tape was on his face before his arms were even wounded. And the duct tape had a lot of crinkles around his mouth. He must have been struggling to open his mouth under the duct tape. Perhaps the duct tape was used so we wouldn't be able to scream. Then it's like I said at the beginning. The tape wasn't for torture. It was to keep his mouth shut. However, if they wanted to seal his mouth, they did not need to hurt him with such ferocity. They probably had a deep grudge against Nagito. Then, are you saying the killer was trying to make him suffer? If so, it's friggin' crazy. Did they go psycho or something? No, they didn't just go crazy. Whoever did this must be one crafty bastard. If not, they wouldn't have taken the time to set fire to the crime scene and destroy all the evidence. Hmm? The warehouse fire was for destroying evidence? You can't think of any other reason. But who could have done that? When the fire occurred, everyone in this room was gathered in front of the warehouse. Yeah. And right after I opened the warehouse door, the flames started burning from the very back. Well, I mean, what I, I think the, uh, the Monokuma, like, cardboard, cardboard things, like standees, were... Weren't, didn't they have like a domino effect to land on a lighter? Which means, it is plausible to think that nobody here set the fire. The killer isn't one of us. But that's not the case, huh? I mean, it's wishful thinking. Even if it was only a coincidence, the timing was just too perfect. Based on the pattern up until now, we should suspect that some kind of setup was used for this. Some kind of setup? Like what? I... I do not know that, but that has been the pattern before. That's our Miss Sonia. You have such an amazingly high intellect. Alrighty then, let's think about this based on what Miss Sonia thinks. Is that okay, Miss Sonia? Damn right it is! <laughs> Damn right it is. My favorite catchphrase. The reason for the fire, hmm. They're right, we need to clear this up first. I mean, it doesn't need clearing up. It's it was it was set by the cardboard things, burnt rope, duct tape, Monokuma plushies, Monokuma panels. Yeah. The direct cause of the fire was the oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup and lit the curtain on fire with the lighter. Some kind of setup. Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? They probably just threw the lighter. Based on the shape of that oil lighter, it can stand upright while the flame is lit. If they tipped over the lighter in some way, it could have ignited the curtain. Some way? Maybe they used invisible thread. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound waves. Oh wait, no, not with sound waves, but maybe tip it over, yeah. All right, maybe because he said sound waves. Yeah, maybe because he said sound waves. All right, I'm gonna agree with Fuyuhiko. I think that's what it is. Fuyuhiko seems to have his mind right about him. He lit the curtain on some kind of setup. Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? Okay, never mind. The direct cause of the fire was. The oil lighter found at the crime scene, right? The killer used some kind of setup. He lit the curtain on fire. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as an improvised fuse? No? Alright, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the Monokuma panels. The direct cause of the fire was. Oops, wrong button. The oil lighter found at the killer. Do -do 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 -do. Some kind of setup? Did they use the oil as they probably just threw the lot based on the shape of that? It can stand up. If they tipped over, it could have ignited some way. Maybe they used invisible threat. There should have been a way to tip it over with sound wave. Or perhaps opening the door caused. Okay, I should have just waited for Sonya. I should have waited for Sonya to say what she had to say. <laughs> I was impatient. I also agree that opening the door is what started the fire. Just as I thought, it was the wind pressure! A dust devil blown here from glorious Japan! No, not wind pressure. They probably used the Monokuma panels. A huge number of tipped over Monokuma panels were found at the crime scene, right? It looked like they were scattered everywhere, but some were laying on top of each other in a single line. Just a single line leading from the warehouse door to the fire's origin. 
Does that mean anything? The killer probably arranged those Monokuma panels to create a domino effect. Hey, like I said earlier, domino effect. And then it lands on the lighter and then kaboom. A domino effect. You mean those tiles kids play with by lining them up and tipping them over? In place of those tiles, the killer used the Monokuma panels. So when we opened the warehouse door, the first panel toppled into the second, and from there, they fell like dominoes until they reached the lighter at the end. But wouldn't it be obvious that those big panels were falling over? That's probably why they turned off the lights in the warehouse, so we wouldn't notice them. So the reason the warehouse was dark was to hide the domino effect. And one more thing. There was something else the killer did to hide the domino effect, right? The killer did one other thing to hide the domino effect. Okay. Uh, burn rope, maybe? Let me think, let me think, let me think. MP3 player. Yeah, the ominous mu music. Yeah, that seems right. I see! You're talking about the MP3 player, right? That hymn blaring throughout the warehouse masked the sound of the falling panels. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because of our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within the darkness, a loud hem heminal blur damn it, a loud heminal blurred throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? Yeah, it's really damn loud. Does Nikito like listening to this depressing crap? Nah, I'm not talking about the music. And as if on cue, it suddenly started. That's it. So the strange sound was actually the sound of the panels fallen. But those sounds weren't the only strange thing, right? Looking back on it, it was also strange when we opened the door to the warehouse. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warning and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Clatter, clatter. Huh? It's not opening. Is there something blocking the door? I can barely open it. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop, okay? Didn't I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What happened to opening it slowly? Akane ignored their protests, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. BAM! Ah! Oh. So the door was being blocked by a Monokuma panel! And when we opened the door, the domino effect started, and the falling panels eventually reached the lighter! Yeah, and that's how the warehouse caught on fire! At least, that's how it looks. You don't look so sure. At the time, Akane mentioned that she could barely open the door. Because the panel was blocking it, right? But the blocked doorway... There wasn't enough space for a person to fit through, right? Is that a problem? It's a major problem. I mean, that door was the only entrance to the warehouse. If the door was the only entrance in the warehouse... I see, so the problem Jakey's talking about is... They could have hid inside, we couldn't see anything, we couldn't take any merch, the killer could have left. I see! If the panel was so close to the door that it could barely be opened, the killer inside the warehouse wouldn't be able to leave, right? Well, I mean, if they found an escape route like, uh, like how Peko Peko did, Peko Peko Yama. You mention it. Does that mean they were hiding inside? Who? We were all outside the warehouse, you know. B based on the patterns up until now, I believe some kind of setup was used. You don't have to think so hard. There's actually only one person who could have possibly done this. Nagito himself? Huh? You don't mean... But if that's true... This murder? Um, Hajime? What do you mean? I mean it would fall in the right in the right order of the previous game where Sakura did a suicide. But I don't think that's the case here. It's too Why would Nagito torture himself like that? The person who set up the domino effect inside the warehouse. There's only one person who could have done that. It only could have been Nagito. This is my answer! What if it was Nagito? Why'd you bring him up? He's the victim, you know. 
He wasn't just the victim. Maybe. Huh? Not just the victim? What does that mean? He's also the culprit? He was the victim. And he was the perpetrator, too. Maybe. I don't think that's the case, Chiaki. Are you saying this was a suicide? D d don't be stupid. His body was covered in torture wounds. Or did you already forget? Are, are you saying those were all self-inflicted? But Nagito might do something like that, don't you think? That's not the issue. He was tied up, remember? Even for a creep like Nagito, it'd be impossible for him to tie up his own arms and legs. Yeah, you're right. Y yeah, as long as you understand. It seems we need to discuss how Nagito was able to tie himself up. N need to discuss? Are you telling me that he had an assistant? That's not necessary at all. No matter how much you think about it, it's clearly impossible. Like he said, it seems impossible if you think about it, but I feel like I'm overlooking something. To actually tie up your own arms and legs. Hold up. Really? No, that's wrong. Really? That was it? The burnt rope in, uh, within like second one. Hold on a sec. Isn't that premise flawed? What? I mean, it's no mistake that his arms and legs were... No, it shouldn't have been both of his arms. The rope on his right arm was completely burnt up. Based on that, you can't say he was tied up. That was just burned by the fire. He should have been tied up before that. It burned because of the fire. Like you said, it might look like that. But that was part of the trap. There's concrete evidence that proves it. The proof that the burn rope on Nagito's right arm is that his sleeve was clean, right? I see! Take a close look at his right sleeve. Even though the rope was burnt up, his sleeve wasn't burned at all. Wouldn't you agree? A burn like this, no matter how you think about it, is unnatural. That rope was burned in advance so it would look like it was burned in the fire. Then Nagito's right arm wasn't tied up, right? He was able to move it freely, right? Yeah, that should be the case. Hajime, that's awesome! I'll let you cop a feel if you want. I might take you up on that offer. Akane, you should not give it away for free. Make sure they pay you first. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I'm, what? That's definitely wrong. I agree for you, Hiko. Fine. I just gotta get a Benjamin from him before I let him touch me, right? This got real, real sexual real quick. That's not what I meant. I'm talking about Nagito. I mean, even if his right hand wasn't tied up, the knife was still stabbed into it, you know? It's impossible to stab a knife into your right hand with your right hand. Ah, that much is obvious. Hajime, you, you tricked me. Give me back that Benjamin. No, not only did she try to charge me, now she wants the money back. What the hell? Hold on. Hold on. There should be a way. <laughs> then hurry up and spill it. If it's something lame, I'll make you give back the Benjamin with 10,000% interest. Why am I... What? Why am I giving her back money? Anyways, hmm, a way to stab yourself in your right hand using only your right hand? It's okay. There's definitely an answer to this. If he tied it to the fucking ceiling and it dropped with enough force, it would just be like... Oh, there it is. The greater. Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? <laughs> I, love, I love how Fuyuhiko's voice cracked. He's like, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? Oh. Maybe not the blood on the greater. Maybe that's red herring for me. Again. Even if Nagito's right hand yeah. was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall, could he stab his hand that way? Is he a throwing knife expert? Maybe he propped the knife somehow? 
Hmm. Shit. All right. Damn it. I'm really fucking up this case. This one's really confusing. Even if Nagito's, how could he? St <coughs> this shit is difficult. What the fuck? His hand is he throwing that? Maybe he propped and slammed his right. Damn it! Times are up. Shit. Alright, his left hand was completely tied. What the fuck? He wasn't able to move it. There's truth of both his legs. In the state, he could have... Uh, what? In that state, could his left hand have reached his right hand? I don't think you can bend your body like that. What the fuck? Even if Nagito's right hand was free, how could he stab his right hand with his right hand? If he threw the knife into the air and let the knife fall... Could he stab his hand that way? This is a long shot. I don't even... This is a long shot right here. I agree with that. Okay. Propped his hand with the plushie. I don't... That doesn't make sense to me. The life-size Monokuma plushie. He must have used that to prop the knife. That really doesn't make sense to me at all. How? Like, I literally brute forced it to get this answer, but this. Okay. Explain to me. Explain to me, Hajime. Makes sense. That's why there was a big hole in the plushy stomach. Okay. If, if there's a big hole in the plushy stomach, then how. What? Wouldn't the plushy still be. When, wouldn't his hand be near the plushy? What the fuck? This, this doesn't make any sense. He inserted the knife handle into that hole to prop it up. Then he slammed his hand onto it. And then what? You're telling me that he laid down and tied himself up after that? If that's it, he had to place the plushie near him. And it also explains the mysterious blood on the plushie. Even if he had to use the plushie, it's still far... It's still fucking far away from him. Look how far that is. And if you're tied up... It makes no sense. What the fuck? This absolutely makes no sense. So the blood on the plushie came from Nagito after he stabbed the knife into his own right hand. Unless he, like, somehow picked up the plushie and threw it or something. I... I see. So that's the trick. But for a moment, I seriously thought Monokuma died or something. A bleeding plushie is super scary! It's got the same fear factor as a doll whose hair grows too long! After stabbing his hand, he no longer needed the plushie, so he cast it off toward the fire's origin point. So you're telling me he cast it off with his wounded hand? He just, like, slapped it across the fucking room? Alright, well, that that's a stupid reason. That's probably, like, one of the most stupid things I ever heard in my fucking life, actually. But, whatever. He probably thought the fire would incinerate it and destroy the evidence. So what do you think now, Fuyuhiko? I think it's wrong. I think it's fucking wrong. I get what you're saying about the wound on his right hand, but there's still one huge problem. The spear. Basically, you're saying Nagito committed suicide by impaling himself with a spear, right? If you think about the order, Getting killed by the spear should have been the last thing to happen to Nagito. If that's true, how is that possible? He can't grab a spear with his right hand if a knife is stabbed into it and his left hand was all tied up. Then, he probably took the spear first, and as he endured the pain, he stabbed the knife into his right hand. Or maybe he used the grater and tied it up there, and then the fucking... the fire just burnt the rope or something? But then rope would still be up there. Huh. There is a limit to his constitution. If you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Wow, Sonia. Wow. <laughs> this is Kajuichi. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I didn't catch all that. <laughs> You're a fucking freak. Like I said, if you got penetrated by something so big and thick, you would die instantly. Ah, uh, say it one more time. I need you recorded. For reasons. Hey, bastard, you better cut it out! Like she said, in that condition, it's very difficult to stab yourself with a spear. 
It'd be hard to use a spear with a knife stab into your right hand while your left hand is tied up. So you're saying it's impossible. But no matter what I think, I can't believe Nagito's death was caused by someone else. Hmm. Is that because you're the murderer? You have the face of a murderer right now. I also agree with that. I don't think Nagito killed himself. I don't think he's that much of a sick bastard. To think that one of us could kill someone with such cruelty. I could never believe that. No. I think the huge contradiction here was if not like Nagito's a crazy son of a bitch, right? And if he was gonna kill himself, he wouldn't have th that expression on his fucking face as he died. Like, look at him, he's fucking terrified. Unless he had like last second regrets, I guess, but it's Nagito we're talking about. I don't think he regrets any of his fucking actions at all. You say you can't believe it? <laughs> you just don't want to believe it, right? But that's why you keep getting betrayed over and over again, right? Same goes for this time, too. You just shut your mouth. It's against the rules to interfere with everyone. If you even think about doing anything, I have a plan of my own. Ah! Mamonami's sassing me! But it's just as Monokuma said. We've been betrayed over and over again so far. This might also be the same. Calling this a suicide takes too much for granted, and it's too convenient. Then are you saying there is a killer among us, Kazuichi? There has to be a killer. Uh, of course that doesn't include Miss Sonia and me. As Kazuichi said, it's true we've been constantly betrayed. But even if I'm betrayed again, I still want to believe in everyone. No matter how many times I may be betrayed, I still want to believe in everyone. I want to believe in you all too, but I don't think that's the case here, as sad as it is. I also want to believe that there's no killer, but suicide is unimaginable. Do you really think so? But you said it too. It'd be impossible for him to stab himself with a spear in his condition. I did say difficult, but I never said impossible. Hmm? I feel that there's... Some way he could have stabbed himself with that spear. What kind of way? I don't know. You don't know? It's impossible to figure out by myself. So let's think about it together. That's how. We made it this far up till now. Everyone. Working together. She's right. We made it through several ordeals up till now by doing that. Then, even now. Alright, let's do this. Alright, is the grater still there? Oops, forgot to press the button. How did Nagito stab himself with a spear? Let's work together and think this through. When the spear stabbed Nagito, his right hand was covered by the knife, right? He was only able to move his left hand. But his left hand was also tied up. Then that rules out his left hand. If that's the case, the only other way is... He used his teeth? Or maybe he used his front tail? <laughs> his front tail. Eyes have tails that get hard when they're grabbed. What? What are you saying? I'm blushing this Sonia is freaking awesome! If Nike took him into suicide, then he must have used the spear to stab himself. Well, it's the left hand, right? How did Nagito stab like, there's himself like, with a spear? There's like a, pa like a grip pattern on his left hand. If I remember correctly. But his left hand was also- And that rules out his left hand. Nope, no, rug button. There we go. That was pretty easy. That was way easier than the other one, fucking Monokuma plushie. Get out of my face. Hold on. It's still too early to dismiss the possibility that he used his left hand. Why? I mean, his left hand was tied up, you know? But there was something off about his left hand. The blood stain on the palm of his hand. Don't you think it looked somewhat strange? He only had blood on the lower area of his palm. Beyond that point, the blood stain suddenly cuts off, right? When the blood splattered, that's as far as it reached, right? That settles the description of that blood stain. 
But it's not the only unnatural blood stain. Look, there's blood on the back of his hand, around the middle joints of his fingers. Like you said, it looks like an unnatural blood stain, but what's wrong with that? We might need to think and use our imaginations for a bit. If there's blood on his palm and the back of his hand, what was his left hand doing as the blood splattered? What was Naito's left hand doing when the blood splattered? Gripping. Yeah. I see. Most likely. When the blood splattered, he was probably gripping with his left hand. That's why there's such a strange looking blood stain on his palm and the back of his hand. Was he grabbing his front tail? All right, Akane, you're going crazy here. Is there something you would like to talk about? Is there something you'd like to tell me here? Perish the thought! He was obviously grabbing the spear! Now that you mention it, compared to the rest of his body, the wounds on his left arm are pretty mild. He probably made his wounds mild on purpose, so he could keep his strength while he gripped the spear. But even if he held the spear with his tied-up left hand, It'd be impossible for him to stab himself. That's right. That's the problem. Hey, Chiaki, what do you think? Hey, don't tell me you're getting sleepy. At times like this, you should always strike from a good angle. Just like fixing an old TV. Oh, I got it. Maybe. Huh? Really? Yeah. Like I thought, it's no mistake that Nagito was gripping the spear. I think... However, what's important is what section of the spear he was gripping. What section of the spear was he holding? The sh <laughs> The shaft. Huh. No. Why the shaft? Well, you know, he was gripping the shaft with bound left hand. Could have stabbed himself with the spear, right? Oh yeah. The angle doesn't work. Crap! The cord? Probably the cord then. I see. That's it. Instead of the handle, Nagito must have been holding on to the cord. There was a metal weight at the tip of the cord, but there were blood stains on that part too. Oh, so you're telling me that he Oh, okay, that would explain why there's blood on the grater. If he was holding the cord wait, no. Would that explain it? Maybe. If he like hung it like it was uh like it was a. Uh... Like it was a fucking... If he hung it by the cord, and the other side was waiting, and he let go, it would have flew over the grater. But how did the blood get on the cord if he was gripping it? Nah. Plus, the joint between the weight and the cord had a bloodstain shape like it was cut off by something. Isn't the size of that cut-off section about the same size as a human fist? Ah, oh, you're right! So this is the part Nagito was gripping, huh? And then, the blood that was supposed to end up here, ended up getting on Nagito's left hand. But why is it so important to know which part of the spear he was gripping? My question is, how the fuck did the blood get on his left hand to begin with? You're not gonna say he gripped the tip of the cord, swung the spear around, and stabbed himself, right? That is where the clue to solve this mystery resides. Right, Chiaki? I am sorry. Of course, this mystery will not be solved that easily. Hmm. Nagato was gripping the cord extending from the butt of the spear with his left hand. But from there, how would he stab himself in the stomach with the spear? Hmm. Hmm. It seems we are stuck. Shall we have tea time? At a time like this, how about we stick to the plan to think one step at a time instead of expecting the answers all at once? All right. A long plan name. One step at a time. What does that mean? Are you saying that we should find other answers to other questions to solve this, to get this answer for this question? It seems to make sense. We'll maybe find out some new clues along the way. Let's focus on the spear first, namely where it was and how it was positioned just before it impaled Nagito. How it was positioned. Naito was facing up and the spear was stabbed through his stomach. So, if it's just before that... That it? Could it be, uh... The state of the spear and the fact that Naito was holding the tip of the cord attached? If I put those together and think about it, I should be able to figure it out. Where the spear was 
in the, in the state it was in before it stabbed Nagito. Logic dive. All right, for a moment I thought they were gonna game, give me the uh, the Hangman's Gambit, because that would have been really difficult. I have no answer for that. Uh, where are the buttons for this? What's the jump button? Okay, there we go. Oops. I almost fucking hit that shit. Alright, first question. Where was the spirit just before it impaled Nagito? Above Nagito. That makes the most sense, right? I would assume so. Alright, so we got that. That one wasn't that hard. Oh, this is new. Ow! Son of a bitch. Alright, question number two. Besides the spear, what else was above Nagito? A ceiling grater. That much is that much is known. That's not too crazy. Time for a third question. What item what item connects both the spear and the ceiling grater? The spear's cord, the rope on Nagato's left hand, the rope on Nagato's right hand. Well the cord. Are we literally just gonna get the answer that I just fucking said, where like he just, you know, swung it over there, had the spear face like straight down, and then let go of the of the weight and then you know gravity did most of the work. It's all coming together! The spear impaled Nagito as he was laying face up. It must have been perpendicular to him just before that. Perpendicular? In the middle of the air? If Nagito did that all by himself, did he have some sort of ESP? That'd be awesome, but he probably used the ceiling girder directly above him. Nagito probably slung the cord over the ceiling girder, and using that as a support. Really? I did all that work for that easy of an answer? Come on, guys. Really? Wasted my fucking time. He hoisted the spear directly above him. And if Nagito let go of the cord, the spear would have fallen and impaled him while he was- That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> but I still just want to know how the fuck did the blood end up on his left hand? I noticed a slight red streak on the ceiling girder. It probably got smeared there during the setup. The blood on the cord probably rubbed off on the ceiling girder as the spear was falling. Maybe he would have gotten blood on his left hand as he was like slicing up his legs or some shit. So, how about it? Using this method, Nagito could have impaled himself with the spear. Are you serious? He really committed suicide? Like that? He probably chose that spear so he could commit suicide like that. If someone else did this, there's no reason they go to all this trouble just to kill someone with a spear. I agree. When I was investigating this case, I kept thinking over and over how strange it was. Why did the killer use the knife and the spear so differently? So you're saying he needed to use that spear to pull off his trick? Then... this is for real? I still don't think Nagito would kill himself like that. It's pretty fucking acidine. He really committed suicide? Every single wound on his body. That was all him? I don't believe that. I don't believe it. It's too it's too ridiculous. Not just that. He did all that while he was gripping a spear? That spear should not have stabbed Nagito until the very end. I I can't, like, with the expression on his face, I can't 
With his dying expression, I can't think that Nagito would have the gall to do something like this. Which means Nagito wounded himself while he was gripping that spear, right? Did he put the duct tape on his mouth too? He probably covered his own mouth so he wouldn't hear him screaming in pain. Did he need to go that far? That's beyond crazy! Why would he do that to himself? He was probably trying to get us to make a mistake. By committing a suicide that looked like a murder, he was trying to steer us toward the wrong answer. His goal was to get us all executed. And, and that's why he stabbed himself over and over again? Did he want us to die that bad? That's messed up. That's seriously so messed up. Yeah, that's our Nagito. Jeez, and I was starting to feel a little sympathy towards him. How stupid of me. I completely underestimated the uh, fuck. I completely underestimated his capacity for malice. A mind-boggling malice that threatens even us after he died. That's the form of his malice took. I hold I totally just had a stroke. Anyways, I have forgotten all about it until now. If he was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at me. However, there is one thing I still do not understand. He said he would reveal the traitor, right? Whatever became of that? He was probably planning to kill the traitor along with the rest of us. So why did he not just do that in the first place? If he had no qualms with killing everyone, he did not have to cause a bomb scare to reveal the traitor. I bet the bomb scare was part of the strategy behind this trick. No, Sonya's on to something here. That's some pretty hard logic she's spitting right now. He made us split up and search for a bomb so none of us would have an alibi. He created a scenario where any of us could have killed him. He tried to make us doubt each other. And tried to hide the truth behind his suicide. Did he cause a bomb scare for that reason alone? He's a fucking bastard who killed himself for his delusions of grandeur. It's not that unthinkable. You are right, I suppose. Yeah, it appears we've come to a conclusion. I don't think he's... I don't think he would commit suicide like that. Bastard Nagito committed suicide. It was all done by him so we'd be executed. Hmm, that should be okay, right? Right? What? You're not satisfied yet? No, I agree that Nagito killed himself, but... I feel like there's something that doesn't make sense. It's probably just my imagination. Why? I mean, I sort of understand what she's talking about. I don't think it's a mistake to assume that Nagito committed suicide, but why do I feel uneasy about it? Is it because we don't know who the traitor is, or... So what are you gonna do? Is it okay to proceed with the voting time? So you're telling me Nagito actually fucking killed himself? Are we pulling another Sakura? Is this, is this what's happening? Are we really doing that? What do you think, Akane? Well, there's no doubt Nagito's death was a suicide. Oh well, I guess my gut is wrong sometimes. Alright, well, let's say he did commit suicide. And let's say that he did somehow manage to find out who the traitor was. By that logic, it would have to be Chiaki. She's the only person who stepped up to prove that she wasn't a traitor. But at the same time, maybe that wasn't her ebook. If we're doing a complete repeat of like the other game. You are right. It is not as though we can draw any other conclusion. Then it's okay to end it here, huh? That means we're done with this last class trial and we can leave this island, right? It's okay to read such a happy ending, right? Then it's okay? It's okay to say you've decided on the killer? I don't want to decide on the fucking killer just yet. Understood. Then voting time. No. Hold on a sec. There you go, Hajime. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Why? Sorry, just a little more. I want you guys to wait just a little more. I can't help but feel like there's still something we overlooked. Like who the traitor is? But the issue here is who killed Nagito, right? Even if we identify the traitor, the conclusion won't change. That's true, but... The mystery isn't just about who the traitor is. Huh? No matter how you look at it, Nagito's death is a suicide. But 
I'm a little worried, you know? I'm worried about starting the voting time while there's still a mystery. Hey, what do you mean it's not about who the traitor is? What kind of mystery is left? There's just one thing that doesn't make sense. And it relates to Nagito's death. Plus, it's something even Nagito couldn't influence. He couldn't even tamper with the evidence for it. And what would that be? Something related to Naito's death, and it's something that even he couldn't have messed with. You're gonna keep going? And here I thought we were finally finished. Hmm. Something related to Naito's death. Piece of evidence. That we couldn't miss. No, that's not it. Something related to Naito's death. Piece of evidence. Related to his death. Is it the file? I see! Okay, then what is it about the file? That's why I wanted to look over the file. I don't... On a Kuma file? Would it be the time of death? Yeah, that's... Huh? There was something suspicious in the Monokuma file? The victim is Nagito Komaeda. The body was discovered inside the warehouse near Na Monokuma's plushy factory. The estimated time of death is to believe noon sharp. Not only there's a spear stabbed through his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds on each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's a laceration on his left arm and a knife impaled through his right hand. The suspicious part of Monokuma's file that Chiyuki is worried about. What is it? What's hidden in the Monokuma file? Could it be the time of death? Is it really the time of death? No, no, you're bullshit. You're bullshitting me right now. Hold up. Wait, what? What am I trying to spell here? Cause of death. Oh, cause of death. Yeah. It never really stated the cause of death. There we go, cause of death. I got it! In this particular case's Monokuma file, there's no specific cause of death. Not only there's a spear stab in his stomach, there are multiple stab wounds of each of his thighs. Furthermore, there's laceration on the left arm and a knife impaled through the right hand. Isn't that weird? Until now, the files always specified the cause of death. But the cause of death is obvious, is it not? The spear in Nakito's stomach. It is obvious just by looking at it that it was a cause of death. Maybe it's not included if it's not important enough to write about. Well, Monokuma, I plead the fifth! There he goes again! I'm so appalled that I have nothing to say! But even during Gundam's case, and before during Mikan's case, the thing he purposely omitted from the Monokuma file was always the most important mystery in the case. Are you saying that applies this time too? <sighs> hold, hold on a sec. Then, are you saying there's more to Nagito's death? Are you suggesting, again, that his death wasn't a suicide? You guys were the ones who said it was a suicide in the first place! No, I don't think it's a mistake to call Nagito's death a suicide, but... But, it's not just a suicide. So you're telling me that he planned to do a suicide, but someone must have interfered and made it their own murder? Come to think of it, did Nagito really? Really commit suicide just to get us all killed? Are you sticking up for him? That's not what I meant. I mean it in a bad sense. Bad sense? I just remembered that his malice always defied our expectations. And that concerns me. For example, would that malice just end here? Huh? So you're telling me he's in... What? He's trying to screw us even beyond death. Did Nagito's malice drive him to risk his life for a truth we'd reach this easily? I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about, you know? <laughs> How interesting! You sure do believe in Nagito, huh? Watch your mouth, Monokuma. Because you believe in his malice, you continue to suspect his malice. I see. I guess that's what passes for friendship these days. 
I guess you're right in a fucked up way. What friendship? I would say it's more like a rivalry rather than a friendship. What should we do, you guys? Should we proceed with the vote? No. I want to get down. I want to get down to the conclusion of this case. I think we should keep going until everyone is satisfied. Even if it's just to be safe. You're right. We only get one chance to vote after all. Just to be safe, huh? Guess I have no choice. If that's the case, I'll do my best to go along with it. This is friggin' annoying. But if you guys say you're doing it, there's no way I'm gonna back out. Hey, Monokuma! You heard us. The voting's gonna have to wait! We've come this far. Let's work hard till the very end. If we work together, everything should be alright. That's what I believe. Oh, Splendid! You guys are so splendid right now! That's right! If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. If all your hopes are united, no despair can shake you. Now that I think about it, Naito said the same thing. The absolute hope that can overcome any despair. He said he was yearning for that. Then the situation we're in might be the thing that Naito wanted all along. Nah, never mind. I'm probably overthinking. No, no! <coughs> I thought, I thought they were gonna... <coughs> I thought it was a voice line. I'll read it. Fuck it. Man, my heart was racing like crazy when I thought the voting time was about to start. Well, if you think about it rationally, there's no way it's gonna happen. We haven't done this bit yet. Most of the players probably figured that out too. You're the, w you're the only one who didn't know. Isn't that right, Monomi? Hey, how much longer are you planning to sulk? Let's get along like we always do. Alright, you passed. Friendship is measured by how long you can stand the silence when you're all alone with someone else. So, Monomi and I are the bestest of best friends. Don't say such stupid things. I hate you so much right now. Enough! Why do I have to be hated that much? Besides the fact that you snap me like that, I don't trust you at all. Not even a teensy, tiny one millimeter bit. How sad. Distrusting your friends is much more shameful than being betrayed by the friend, you know? We aren't even friends in the first place. Then as your older brother, let me say this. You're not even my brother. It's sad to live a life without friendship. That's even sadder than watching a high school rom-com full of guys. Well, there, there are many... <laughs> there may be some demands for that. What? What? I fell for it. I totally took the hambit. 